So it all starts with having a grand purpose for living. Because if you're not clear on what you seek to make happen during the time that you have here on this planet, then stoicism is useless. Okay, as the philosopher Marcus Aurelius would say, people that labor their whole lives but have no clear purpose to which they direct every thought and impulse are wasting their time, especially when they are hard at work. Okay, now I'm of the belief that we all have the same purpose in life and that is to become who we're capable of being, to close the gap between how we're showing up in life and how we are capable of showing up in life. As a psychologist Abraham Maslow would say, what one can be, one must be. And in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, he lists self-actualization as a basic human need. Now, of course, all of us will have different missions through which we bring our purpose into fruition. But the way I see it, it's all different paths that are leading to the same destination of self actualization and as we walk those paths as we seek to express our potential and become who we're capable of being then stoicism is something that can guide us and help us navigate all these different mazes in our lives and show up as the most empowered version of ourselves and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you a practical guide on how to be a stoic and how to live in your most empowered expression so okay so uh in stoicism there is a saying that memento mori okay remember death now in modern society a lot of us shy away from the topic of death we are not really talking about it in our day-to-day -day discussions we don't really have a relationship with it and intellectually although we understand that we are all going the same way that we are all going to leave this physical physical experience at one point or another, we don't emotionally live as if that is the reality, okay? We are living as though we're gonna live forever because we waste our time doing things that are not really serving us. We're procrastinating and we are putting things off into the future and the future doesn't really exist. The only thing that exists is right here, right now. And this is why the Stoics said to remember death all right keep it as a close companion and use it as a guide to filter your day-to-day -day decisions now i like to say that death is the shadow which gives the light of light light of life death is the shadow which gives the light of life meaning okay so when we are filtering our decisions in our day-to-day -day lives through the filter that we are going to die one day then we are able to show up as our most empowered response. We can cut back on the procrastination. We can stop putting things off and we just show up as how we're supposed to show up. We do the right thing over the easy thing. We overcome the path of least resistance. We let go of the instant gratification and we do what needs to be done regardless of how we feel, regardless of how the emotions of the moment are directing us towards right we use our reason to guide our decisions in order to show up as how we are capable of showing up as okay memento mori remember death and this is going to be a practical guide like i said so right now step number one is to remember death all right now step number two is a thought experiment which i want you to run through definitely run through it please so that you are implementing the stuff that i'm talking about this is all great but the stoicism and ancient stoics this was not armchair philosophy this was all about a practical guide to living the life that you're capable of being to arm you with the tools and strategies to show up as your most capable self all right so this exercise right now do it right now take out a piece of paper and visualize yourself walking down an aisle all right and all around the aisle there are people that you know people that you love and the people that you serve through your expression of service all right and then as you're walking down you see a casket lying at the front of the room you walk towards the front of the room you see the casket and you look inside and it is you lying in that casket all right now all the people around you they are all the lives that you have touched in your life and they cannot see you right now you see them and you're listening to what they are saying about you all right 
what are they saying about you? Com consider that you have achieved everything that you were seeking to achieve in your life, that you have accomplished all of your greatest hopes and your dreams. You have showed up as the most powerful version of yourself. You have expressed your potential. Imagine that all of that is true. Now imagine what these people are saying about you. All right. This is something which um, in the book titled The Road to Character, the author David uh, Hawkins, I think I'm not sure of his name. I'll have to recheck that, but I'll link out to the book below. But he talks about eulogy virtues. What character traits do you seek to embody? What character traits are people talking about you in reference to you when they are talking at your funeral, right? Eulogy virtues versus resume virtues, which are all the skills and the techniques and stuff that we are using to bring value to the marketplace. I'm not saying that resume virtues are not important, but at the end of the day, when we use death as a tool to get rid of everything that is not important in our lives, that it gives clarity in terms of what is actually important, which is who you were as a human being. What did you represent and what values did you embody that touched the lives of everyone that you came into contact with? So as you run through this thought experiment of running to, uh, to be able to experience your own funeral and experiencing the people saying things about you, write down what they are saying or what they would be saying about the ideal version of you. All right. So as you write this down, as you come out with all the character traits that they are using to describe you with, then you will have a list of virtues through which you can really understand your day to day behavior and use them to guide your day to day behavior so that you make sure that you are acting in accordance with your highest virtues. All right. So this is really a powerful exercise that can totally change your life. And I ran through it last year. And the reason I'm making this video is because I forgot. All right. I forgot about all those virtues that I had written down. And the key that I've realized is reminding ourselves of these virtues every single day in the morning and every single night before going to sleep so that we can really begin to shine the light of our awareness on them and then behave in a way that is in accordance with these values, right? This is what it means to be a stoic, to live with work, to, to live with virtue, right? To be a representation of the values that we seek to embody. And this is the practical guide to actually living as a stoic rather than just talking about these ideas, rather than just, uh, you know, mentally masturbating on these ideas, we are embodying them and practicing them in our lives. Because once we have a set of virtues, that are our eulogy of virtues, that are the character traits that we seek to embody, the stuff that we want to be remembered for by the lives that we touch, that is what is important at the end of the day. Who were you and how did people remember you? How did you impact people is really the guiding mechanism that you will then use to really filter your day to day decisions. And that is where the rubber meets the road. That is where you are showing up as a stoic, as an embodiment of the values which you seek to express as the most capable, powerful and grounded version of yourself. All right. So that is a thought experiment that I want you to run through at the end of this video. Do it right now. Do it at the end of this video. But at the end of the day, just do it because that is the only way that you will be able to implement this stuff rather than just thinking about it. Right. So once you have the set of those virtues, then really it comes down to scheduling when you will exhibit the behavior that allows you to express those virtues. Right. The word character comes from the Greek uh, Greek root which means engraved mark, right? Whenever the, they were, people were sending letters to each other, they would put down an engraved mark that was a representation of which family this letter was coming from or something like that. So the word character is to engrave these markings, engrave these virtues onto our spirit, onto our soul, onto our state of being, okay? Because once you're clear on what exactly those eulogy virtues are, then you can schedule in the behaviors that will allow you to express them, right? So for example, with me, a, a something that came up when I run through this exercise was compassion, right? Kindness. And the way that I'm able to embody this is to give out smiles to every single person that I come into contact with, right? Everyone that I make eye contact with, I put on a smile. And more often than not, that smile is returned. And I'm telling you, 
this is one of the most beautiful experiences on a day-to-day -day basis. Like when I look back at my gratitude journal, I write down what I'm thankful for. It's that, you know, that exchange with a stranger, that beautiful exchange with a stranger. And it really just makes me feel amazing. And I was just previously living in Bali, Indonesia. I'm going back there next year. And it's just so remarkable that everyone that you look at, they're smiling at you, you smile back. And it's just this personal human connection with like another stranger, even though you might not come across their paths again. It's just that beautiful moment that you created that which has the opportunity for you to express gratitude a lot, right? So that's something for me, if I'm expressing compassion, one way is just to smile at everyone that I make contact with, right? Another one that came up for me was impact, that I was service oriented, that I was a servant leader of men. So of course, something that I am uh, intending on making happen right now is to empower people with the practices, technologies, strategies, mindsets that have helped me show up as a more grounded and powerful version of myself, that have helped me develop a better relationship with myself because at the end of the day, the most important relationship is the one that you have with yourself and the better relationship that you have with yourself, the better you're able to show up for others as well. So that's really my intention to get you to take action on this stuff. So run through this exercise right now, get clear on what your eulogy virtues are and then schedule in how you will express those behaviors to embody and imprint those virtues onto your character. All right. That is how you will be able to live as a stoic, to show up as the most empowered version of yourself and to continually move in the direction of how you want to be remembered, right? Using death as the filter towards your day to day decisions, using death to end procrastination, to end putting off the things that you're putting off and show up as the most capable version of yourself and move in the direction of self actualization. With all that being said, this has been Mo Salim. I hope you found this video valuable. Click the like button if you liked it. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. But with all that being said, once again, I will see you in the next video.